Hey, what's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy Trending Ken back again with some news you can use, man. And today we got FBG Duck, man. But before I get into that, you know what I need you to do? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. If you don't want to subscribe, get in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Then you can come back later and subscribe, man. You can be anywhere in the world that you want to be, but you right here with me, man. It's your boy Trending Ken. Hit that subscribe button. It won't cost you nothing. Now, if you don't know who FBG Duck is, FBG Duck was a rapper from the south side of Chicago who was killed on August 4th of 2020 in front of a high-end fashion store at which he was shopping. It's alleged that four men hopped out of two vehicles and opened fire on FBG Duck, killing him and injuring two others. Now, up until this point, no one had a clue of anybody who had anything to do with this, but today, the feds had time. They unsealed an indictment including five names with charges ranging from weapon charges to racketeering to conspiracy to the murder of FBG Duck, a full RICO case against members from Old Block. Five alleged Chicago street gang members have been charged in a racketeering conspiracy, accusing them of a pattern of violence that includes the downtown slam of the Chicago rapper FBG Duck last year. Even during the 2020s, elevated violence levels in the city, the slant of the rapper who real name is Carlton Weekly stood out, both because of Weekly's status as an entertainer and the boldness of the fatal attack. Police at the time described Weekly 26 as a member of the Gangster Disciples faction that was involved in a fierce feud with the Black Disciples on the South Side. The 11-page indictment unsealed Wednesday alleged that those charged are members of the Old Block Gang, a violent faction of the Black Disciples that has publicly claimed responsibility for acts of violence and used social media and music to increase their criminal enterprise. Now you heard that word right there, furthering the criminal enterprise? It leads me to speculate, man. We done seen in a lot of these rapper Rico cases where they go snatch all these street dudes and then at the end of it, they put a head guy at the tip of the organization. Now I'm just speculating with this and I'ma pause for a second to let you think about what I'm gonna say. You done? Yeah, they have to have a head to this organization. Now we know that King Vine is no longer with us, so who that leave? I'ma pause again. That leave Lil Dirk. Will they try to say Lil Dirk is the head of this organization? Although Lil Dirk is in Atlanta, it's federal. This cross state lines, you know, and this could be like a multi-state thing in their opinion. You know how they operate or whatever. But I'm concerned for Lil Dirk because he's an old block OTF representer, you know, and a lot of these guys are affiliated with him on and off camera. That's something that we gotta pay attention to. The indictment marked the latest instance of gang violence linked to rap music in Chicago, a war raged largely online that has frustrated law enforcement as so-called diss tracks escalate quickly into a cycle of shootings and retaliation. After Weekly was killed, police went on alert citing that ongoing threats being made between groups Weekly, under his FBG Duck moniker, had made his own video prior to his death mocking rivals who had lost their lives, police said. Now, it's just amazing to me how the feds are taking rap music and online antics and grouping that with, you know, a shooting over here, a dime rock soul in the park, and lumping that together and making that into a RICO case, man. If I was any rapper who got any street affiliation, I would be concerned, especially when the money come in because they want to stop that. If you got an influence and the money and you connected to the streets, that's good enough to take you down because you got an influence, you can get things done to people, and they don't want that. If I was Dirk, I'd probably be concerned because in the old block OTF organization, ain't nobody higher than him. And we already know that every RICO case got to have somebody at the top of the pole, totem pole. You know what I'm saying? And who, who else is bigger than Dirk at this point? It ain't nobody. So if I was him, I'd be running around kind of spooked. I'ma stay on top of this because this is something that's gonna be every day. It's gonna be more stuff coming out about it and I'ma stay in tune with that because I wanna see who they wrap up next and how they gonna lump this together just so in the future I can have an understanding of what's going on with these guys or them guys or, you know, people can start seeing the red flags before they even happen, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a whole new thing that they starting to get into, the rap Rico. The, you know, one guy stole a, a bag of such and such in the park. One guy caught a body, one guy's a rapper, their crew, that's a Rico charge, man. 
I'm going to stay in tune with this and keep up on it, man. But until then, it's your boy Trending Ken, man. Subscribe.